My goal was to find the rarest wild horses, no matter how dangerous the iron man was where they lived in. I knew it would be dangerous but also rewarding. But if I had known what there was to come, I would not have done it. Relax. This is Gucci White Horses, welcome to follow my journey. To start my journal, I had to first take a look at the map, plan my route to catch the white horses that people had been talking about around the village. It would be a very far journey, so preparing was important. I was going to be away from home for a long time, so I had to make sure I don't forget anything. Nature will be having a rough weather, but I am more concerned about the predators. I know there will be snakes and birds, even wolves around. And not even that. There's a huge risk of bandits. Since I am not going to look just any horses, I'm going to look for the best ones, who have been too fast and stubborn to be tamed by other people, at least so far. My plan was to leave early in the morning so I have all the daylight possible when I'm traveling. But I am not traveling alone. I will travel with Power, my Mustang horse. I went to the barn to get him ready for the trip as well. Power was a wild horse but I tamed him a couple of years back. Since that, he has been a perfect teammate in a ranch work as well as in distant riding. I prepared him by giving him 3 days from working, so he has all the energy for the rough trip. I fed him, brushed him and checked he felt ready. And oh boy, he was ready to go. You amazing animal. We had to cross the river, but I managed to forget that Power hates rivers and keeps asking many times if he really has to. Power has a trauma where he almost once drowned to a strong river, so I understand the memories ghost him. He has no trouble walking in a lake or other calm water areas, but the places with a current, it is a no-go to him. Calm down, boy. Eventually, when we passed the river and I was going to relax, the new problem arrived. Slow up now. Relax. Power got immediately scared, but knowing he running away was the best option. He can keep his head cool longer than most horses, and that's why he's perfect for these situations. Morning was here with its peaceful sunlight warming my face. Finally, the vibe I was looking for. I watched a bit around and what do I see? <sighs> These damn wolves again. But what are they hunting for? It looked like a bear. The wolves were clearly in the morning hunt, but I don't think it was the same pack as before. I saw my chance to let Power run as fast as he wanted before the wolves noticed us. But guess what behind the cliff was? My luck, I guess. The bandits. Nice mount you got there. Why don't you just get off your horse so we can take the mark? I don't know how long they were scouting there, but now they wanted power. For him being rare Mustang, I knew running away would put power in a big risk, so I had to politely decline their offer. We got closer to the location where people claimed to see an Arabian looking horse. It was a very powerful looking river in front of us and now we had to cross it. I tried to look for an easier way to cross it and see if I could spot the horse. Nothing. Fishers, campers, well, I guess we had to cross. It will be dangerous. The current started to immediately push us to a drop where Power would hurt himself pretty bad. I could sense Power's panic in his eyes. We used all the strength to get to the other side. Oops. But it looks like Power did not get hurt. But I know he would never cross a river after this. <laughs> Environment started to be slippery so we had to be careful. 
No signs of a horse. Where did it go? After roaming for a time, I saw a red dot behind the hill. Yep, that is an Arabian. Getting slowly closer. Let's go! Arabian was clearly tamed in the past, but it seemed to be living itself in a wild for a long time. It clearly did not trust humans anymore, but didn't exactly act like a horse who has lived his whole life on its own. It was a time to head to the stables and get him sold. I had no use for an Arabian, and a horse like that will find a royal family where it gets treated right. I found a path to get safely over a river, but Boho disagreed. He was not going to pass a single river in his lifetime anymore. This time I knew, the river won't cause any risk and there was no way out without passing any rivers. I gave a quick name to the Arabian and decided to call him his shiny fur was like copper. Copper was really quickly very cooperative. He was not trying to fight Cover, nor me. He clearly was very speedy, but did not hit like a tea kettle while running next to Power. Thought running to the village would be peaceful, but no. I was wrong again. Pandits wanted my horses again, probably from the same clan as before. I had to be very politely again. I thought after the scene I would need to run after spooked copper half of the forest, but I was wrong. Copper was indeed stressed, but he stayed. He was not scared enough to run away. Thank god. Arabians are very fast and slim enough to go past all of the trees where any other horses would get stuck in a second. We finally arrived at the stables. The owner told me to wait, so it was perfect chance for me to check out Copper and maybe at the same time show his moves to other stable hands. Copper was so behaving and calm, but also at the same time so sensitive that I could make him running like a rocket if I used my spurs even a little harder. It is hard to ask for any better horse. But for me, I was not exactly looking for a horse like a Copper, so I decided to sell him. Cover was tired for the long run and from fighting in the current that I decided to switch the pretty young a new horse called the boy. I checked he wasn't thirsty or dirty so we could keep moving to the second wild horse location, which was going to be a long run. Boy is not afraid of anything specific, he has no experience at all. It can be a risk in the wild, where we will most likely meet wolves and birds again, maybe even googers. I cannot put any trust he would be like Power in these situations. Brave, calm from his head in a stressful situation, but we will see how it goes. After hours of walking, we started to get closer to the location where the scene Andalusian was around. No Andalusian, let's keep moving. The best part of making long trips is raising the chances to see wild animals and their habits. But boy quickly started to dress something. I wasn't sure if he was scared of the deers or if there was an actual danger. 
Taking a closer look made me realize there was a bear. Maybe try to hunt deers. After hours of moving towards the Andalusian spot, the evening started to be here and I decided, oh it's time to rest. The river was the perfect spot for a boy to drink and I could listen to beautiful river sounds while sleeping. It was time to take care of boy, take care of myself and just rest. Full of energy, we decided to start by running towards the scene spot for Andalusian. Fingers crossed that I will find it. Not even along, I saw a shiny horse and realized it had a camp next to it without me knowing. Oh, a hey deer. I hope the Andalusian do not get scared of it. The place is very dangerous. I prepare to get ready for what is to come. Should have not expected anything else than a spooked horse over a deer. I had to run to get to it and just hope it does not run over the cliff and fall. I had to act quickly to mount it and calm it. I was surprised how easily he let me mount on him, but he immediately went to kick boy. He seemed to be very territorial and was not happy to have another stallion on his area. He clearly had not been long in the world for being pretty calm to humans. But maybe his aggressive behavior towards other horses was a reason people could not get near him. Eventually he calmed down and acted like we would have known for a long time. And I also realized this horse was not a stallion, it was a mare. Usually horses are not territorial, especially mares, so she definitely was special. Maybe she was not territorial, but instead just hated other horses. Maybe her being a mare actually just explained things. It was time to find a stable. I decided I wanted to keep her myself. She maybe didn't have exactly the easiest personality, but she seemed to know what she was doing and was not afraid to defend herself. Her body build was very muscular, that's what I wanted. I named her Mona. Why? I don't know. My first thought of the mayor was Mona Lisa. Maybe because of the beauty they both had. It was time to get to the last horse. The most special one, but if I had known what would happen, I would not have gone for it. The location at the Special Arabian would be in long distance and also in a very dangerous spot. Strong rivers, slippery cliffs, falling risk and predators. Mona seemed to be very starry and I had zero regrets about taking her to this. I know she can do it. First strong river ahead. Remembering power situation, I was the one stressing to pass it. Mona instead was ready to go without a second thought. Immediately the river took us, but luckily the river was easy to pass. One thing less to get all one dead location. Why are the white horses afraid? And why is Mona stressing for the first time too? Time to check out. Come on. 
Of course. This time I did not give them a chance. The area was too dangerous to run like a headless chickens, and since the night was soon coming, I had to find a place to rest without stressing off the wolves. I decided to spend the night here. It was time to rest and tomorrow we would head to the Arabian. After a couple of hours of walking, we finally were supposed to be at the Arabia, but nothing seemed to be here. Where was it? I was already losing my hope, but I decided to take a last check from the hill. Maybe we could see it from there. Just when I was getting up, I heard a noise and could immediately tell this was the one we were looking for. The area was dangerous, so I had to be quick to minimize the risk of getting either of them hurt. The Arabian was not like one of us, immediately giving up. This horse was ready for anything it takes, so it was obvious this horse has not seen humans for a long time. It was a very dangerous spot where it was going, and I was sure that the horse would slip and break its legs. The Arabian has lived there for years, so I should have expected it to know how to walk in a slippery area. It gave up quicker than I thought, but it was not immediately cooperating with me. Anyways, it was time to head back to the village to get the Arabian proper care and get him solved. When I got back to the pub, I saw a camp with a horse I have been wondering for a long time. Should I leave them be or should I say no more? Quickly had to run to the amazing horse so the others would not get shot. Stop watching after Mora. Did she get shot? Oh, there she comes. She was not exactly the most following horse, since she did not like otters. At least she came along with them somehow, despite not liking them. Mona decided to have a fitting distance from the otters until I commanded her to be closer. I wanted all the horses to be close to each other, so I would be able to protect them if needed. At some point, Arabia was deciding not to leave the area. Let's go, girl. He was willing to go with me, but followed better after there was two more horses with him. The paint horse I just stole wasn't exactly the most cooperative either. Mona was the only perfect going horse here. After discussing with the paint holes, we finally got to the point to cross a dangerous river. I was not concerned with the paint or Mona, but with the Aravian. What if it panics so hard that he starts to fall off the current? Well, I had no choices. I decided to ride the paint, lead the Arabian and give Mona her freedom to come, because she's the only one who can be able to pass it on her own. The Arabian's head went under the water and I started to be very concerned. I had to pull all my strength to get him out of there, but where is Mona? Wasn't she just passing it too? Now if ever, I have to do all I can to get her out of there. And I wasn't sure if Mona was actually alive anymore. I decided to put the horses away from the river to make sure they would not follow me, but the pain immediately ran to the river like he would be wanting to help someone. I tried to pull Mona up and she was very badly hurt. I could not get the lasso on her anymore. I realized she was gone. Karen was just moving her so it looked like she was struggling there. I was too busy watching after the Arabian that I didn't see Mona drumming with the current. 
The homes I found very independent was not strong enough to survive. I truly understood that Power does have a point for being afraid of the strong river and now I fully respect him with it. I should have let Mona wait at the other side and helped her to get over the river when others were safe. Walking away from the situation was not a happy event to anyone. They didn't know Mona as long as me, but horses can have deeper connection faster with each other than humans can with horses. Mona did not really like any horse, but she came the best along with this Arabian. Maybe after time they could have been friends, in their own way. Same evening after walking for hours, the sunset was more powerful than ever. In the late evening we finally arrived back. It was a very long run. Hours and hours without breaks. It was time to give the Arabian a good care and put the paint horse in my name. I tried a little bit of the Arabian and he will be a good horse to someone. He was maybe not so skilled yet, but he is reactive and smart so no doubt he would not be a good horse.